coming out. I know we're small in number this evening. However, here, Mike. We're gonna. We are gonna look at some stuff these next day and a half or so this evening and tomorrow. We're gonna be embarking upon a journey through the historical matriarchs in Scripture. And uh, surprisingly, how important the women are in Scripture, little is really said about a number of them. So, you know, the old saying, dynamite comes in small packages. <laughs> you ladies make a major impact and don't need to be <laughs> written about a whole lot in order to make the point across. So, getting started, what I this particular class is going to be a little different than the last one I did. The last one I backed up the truck and I dumped a mess of information in your lap. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate that. This time, I'm, this is going to be really uh, wrapped more around interaction. Um, going to the, some scripture passages, reading about the women in scripture, and then talking amongst ourselves and in the group. Uh, your thoughts, your observations, even your questions, and, and something, don't be hesitant to say, you know what, I think, eh, whatever you think it might be. Because since there is a many situations, so little written about these women, what you think maybe spot on. Follow what I'm saying? So we're going to do a lot of dialogue back and forth, a lot of reading in Scripture. If you don't have your hard copies of your Bible, I'm not offended by your electronic version. As long as you have some type of word with you, you're good. I know we just had a good time of prayer, but Lord God, thank you that you are with us today. And Lord God, I ask that you would just make your presence known amongst us today in our class. Father, I ask you would clear each mind that is here. Father, I ask that the cares of today, of the week, of this month, yes. just kind of go away. And Lord, I ask for clarity of mind and peace. As we dive into your word, the history, Father, that you were ordained <laughs> and look at some of the key people in your history. So thank you, Father, for giving this this, this opportunity to, to study some of those things. Thank you in Jesus. Amen. Amen. The first question that was Oh, thank you. I have so, yeah, we do have a handout. <laughs> Before I get started, yes, there's a handout. Now, there are more, there's more of this coming tomorrow. I'm just giving you the first two pages. Okay. I'm, and uh, tomorrow we'll be adding on to it. There's plenty of room for you to write whatever thoughts, questions, observations you may have. You lady, you need one, you need anyone. Joel and Maria. There you go. Okay. And, uh, oh. My notes are pretty much the same format. I just have the filled in version. So, feel free to write whatever you like. Ask any questions you like, really. Just if you have a question on something, something's not quite clear, please. Uh, because we're small in number, so we could, in, in this in this setting, particular setting, we can afford to do that. If we had a full class, I would say limit your questions to afterwards. But since we're we're kind of slow or small, still like it. Some of us are slow. Yeah, I'm slow. Yeah, I'm on. <laughs> it's been a long week yeah, <laughs> for most of us. So, the first uh, point is, what does God say? about women. So that's an open question. 
God, I can hear your thoughts. What does God say about women? What does God say about women? What does God think about? What is God, when you think women related to God, God related to women, what comes to mind? I think we did a Bible study at Proverbs 31 a couple years ago, and so that's with my limited Catholic knowledge. That's what I always think of as the Proverbs 31. Okay. Which is a lot. So can I, can I, yes. can I repeat back to you what I think you're saying? Yes. What I what it what it sounds to me would be that that illustration of a woman in Proverbs thirty one is how God views women. Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Okay. How they should be. To be a godly woman, it should be a Proverbs thirty one. Okay. Now, if we have the time, I'd like to delve into that. That Proverbs thirty one. Yeah. Go into. In fact, we may touch on that. Who 